First, how do you reset your PC? Recovery options in Windows are below. To reset your PC, select Start Settings System Recovery. Open Recovery Settings. Next to reset this PC, select Reset PC. Then choose from the options and or settings in the table below. To remove an installed Windows update. If you've recently installed a Windows update, uninstall the update to try to resolve the issue. Select the Start button, then select Settings Update and Security Windows Update View your update history, uninstall updates. View Update History Settings. Right-click the update you want to remove, and then select Uninstall. To reinstall Windows 10 while Windows is running, connect the installation media you created to your PC. Open File Explorer and select the drive with the installation media. From the root directory of the drive, double-click setup.exe, and then select Yes when asked if you'd like to allow the app to make changes to your device. Select Change what to keep. Select one of the following options, and then select Next. Keep personal files and apps to preserve your personal data, apps, and settings. Keep personal files only to preserve your personal data and settings, all your apps will be removed. Keep nothing to remove all personal data, settings, and apps. Warning, you cannot undo a reinstallation of Windows 10. If you choose the Keep Nothing option, be sure to back up your files first. To finish, select Install to start reinstalling Windows 10 on your PC. Your PC will restart several times during the reinstallation. To reinstall Windows 10 by starting your PC using installation media. Connect the installation media you created to your PC. Start your PC using the installation media. Note, check with the PC manufacturer on how to start the PC using media. When Windows Setup starts, select Next and then Install Now. If you have a Windows 10 product key, enter it when prompted. Otherwise, select I don't have a product key. If prompted, select a Windows Edition, example Home, Pro, to install and select Next. When prompted to choose a type of installation, select Custom, Install Windows Only, Advanced. Select the disk or partition to which Windows 10 should be installed. Note, if you suspect your PC has been infected, consider deleting the existing partitions and reinstalling Windows 10 onto a clean disk. Your data on any deleted partitions will be lost. Select Next to start reinstalling Windows 10 on your PC. Your PC will restart several times during the reinstallation. What causes there was a problem resetting your PC error? This error on your screen makes resetting or booting your device impossible, depending on where you see the error. Here are some other variations of the error message on different builds of Windows 10. There was a problem refreshing your PC. No changes were made. Can't reset your PC. There was a problem resetting your laptop or computer. Refresh your PC. A variation of the same error can be seen in the screenshot above, where errors come up when trying to refresh the Windows 10 system instead of the reset. If you see any of these messages at the end of your resetting process, you must troubleshoot in order to properly reset your operating system. Continue reading to find the steps necessary to restore your computer. Fixed, there was a problem resetting your PC. Below are the different methods to restore your device and get rid of the frustrating error. Don't worry, even if you're stuck in a reset loop, our methods are suitable for fixing the issue. Note, it's worth mentioning that this error exists on both Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 as well. The majority of the methods below can also solve the issue of those operating systems. However, some steps might differ, as our article is primarily focusing on Windows 10. Depending on the state of your device, you can either attempt to fix the issue or save your computer from getting stuck in an infinite reset loop. Our methods will discuss all sorts of solutions fit for different scenarios. To carry out most of the steps in the guide below, you need to have a local user account with administrative permissions. Need help? Check out how to make a local user and administrator in Windows 10 guide. Quick fix, use the startup repair function. 
Startup Repair helps you fix common problems that prevent Windows from starting. Note, if you've encrypted your device, you'll need your BitLocker key to start in safe mode. First, you need to enter the Windows Recovery Environment, WinRE. To do this, you will repeatedly turn your device off, then on. Hold down the power button for 10 seconds to turn off your device. Press the power button again to turn on your device. On the first sign that Windows has started, for example, some devices show the manufacturer's logo when restarting, hold down the power button for 10 seconds to turn off your device. Press the power button again to turn on your device. When Windows starts again, hold down the power button for 10 seconds to turn off your device. Press the power button again to turn on your device. This time, allow your device to fully start up. Select Advanced Options. Shows the automatic repair screen with the Advanced Options button highlighted. Now that you're in WinRE, on the Choose an Option screen, select Troubleshoot Advanced Options Startup Repair Restart shows the Choose an Option screen with the Troubleshoot option selected. Shows the Troubleshoot screen with Advanced Options selected. Shows the Advanced Options screen with Startup Repair selected. Method 1. Run the System File Checker. One of the most common causes for the reset error is corrupted system files. If key files in your Windows 10 system are damaged or deleted, they can prevent the operation from resetting your PC. Running the System File Checker SFC scan, will allow you to repair these files and attempt to reset them again. Follow the guide below to fix the error. Here's how to run the SFC scan. Search for command prompt, then right-click on the best match result and choose Run as Administrator. If prompted, enter your local user password or get the administrator to help you. Open command prompt. Once the command prompt window opens, type SFC slash scan now, then press the enter key to start scanning your PC. How to scan your PC through command prompt. Wait for the scan to reach 100% completion. Make sure you don't close the command prompt or shut down your computer during this process, as it may reset progression. Any system errors detected will automatically get repaired. This allows files associated with the There was a problem resetting your PC error to repair and function properly. Restart your computer and attempt to reset your PC again. If this method didn't work for you, or your computer is currently stuck in a reset loop, proceed with method 2 below. Methods 2. Restore from a system restore point. If you have a system restore point setup, you might be able to return to it and fix the errors automatically. By returning to one of these points, you basically send your computer back in time. This option takes your PC back to an earlier point in time, called a system restore point. Restore points are generated when you install a new app or driver, and when you create a restore point manually. Restoring won't affect your personal files, but it will remove apps, drivers, and updates installed after the restore point was made. This method will only work if your point was set when the, there was a problem resetting your PC error didn't exist on your PC yet. However, it's still worth a shot, as your files will never be harmed when doing a system restore. Windows System Restore Point From the search bar, type System Restore. Choose the Create a Restore Point option from the results. Creating a Restore Point on Windows. System Properties Windows will launch. Here, switch to the System Protection tab as shown. System Restore Protection. Click on the System Restore button. System Restore Point. When the System Restore window launches, click on Next. Choose a point you want to return to. Your system may automatically create restore points after updates and software installations. Select a suitable return point and then click Next. System Restore Simply follow the on-screen instructions in the Restoration Wizard to return your system to a past point. When you're done, check if you can reset your PC.